Alright YouTube, this is what we're about to do. Alright, so it's gonna look a lot different, isn't it? Well, let's get to it. First, we start by cleaning it. So let's clean. To clean this, we're gonna take some paper towels. We're gonna take some all-purpose bleach. But really, you could probably just do water. It's fine. Maybe even soap and water. And we're gonna take our gloves. Because, well, we have them. But do you need them? Probably not. Don't you love arts and crafts time? I do. All right, let's get to it. First, these can get out the way. Second, here's our box. Third, spray on box. Fourth, don't be wasteful. So take one small piece, or I mean, you can even take a, something else. If you're using water, you could use anything really. You could use a washcloth, you know, whatever. So, just gonna make sure we clean every part of the surface. I'm not even spray painting inside here. I'm just gonna spray paint the outside, but it's still pretty dirty in there, so I'm gonna clean it out while I'm all set up like this. So we'll take another one. It's nice and dry one. We'll just wipe that off. It's like a motorcycle driving by in the background. All right, so we're gonna start with this part. We actually just angle it right and we'll push up. We can take off the little, I don't know what you call these, but part that snaps down, the little snappers. Yeah, you can unhook the snappers if you do that. Yep. Oh. We don't need to mask anything. <laughs> On second thought, you're gonna take your lid off <laughs> and these off, but if yours doesn't come off like that, what we're gonna do is just wrap tape around this bottom part so that we don't spray paint that bottom part. We're gonna keep that clear. But, uh, all right, there we go. <laughs> that makes it a little bit easier. So here I have some 320 grit see if you can see that 320 grit super smooth stuff we're not gonna go crazy we're just gonna try to get those little edges off and see there like there's some stuff curling up that I didn't even know was there so now I can remove that And I'm gonna wipe it down one more time now before we get the spray paint. So that's what we have there. So now when we spray paint it, this is what we're gonna wanna do. I wanna put it up off the surface just a little bit so that the edges, we can paint the sides, the edges there without uh, the bottom getting stuck completely around on the ground so I have it here on here and the edges will touch here and here so it's not perfect but we're gonna use it all right so you want to take your spray paint and you shake it up for like a full minute all right now that way it shook up hold it upside down get out a few sprays all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray paint the top of this. So let me get some things out of the way. Out of the way. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Heck, I already think it looks better. 
<laughs> All right, so now we're gonna let it dry for 20 minutes, maybe 30, and then from there, we're gonna do what we do next. All right, so we have a one inch brush here. One inch brush, and we have our spray paint, our red spray paint. We're gonna shake this up for a full minute. Okay, so now we're gonna put a clear coat on there. So we gotta shake this for a good minute, and then, uh, yeah, we put the clear coat on. Alright, so it's been drying for 30 minutes, so now I'm going to shake this up again for another minute and do another coat. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was helpful. Uh, I do have some more tips on spray painting tips and like uh, the process itself. And that's in a different video where I actually do the same thing, but I do it to one of my old Baycaster reels. It turned out really good. The one thing I'll say about 
uh, that video is I didn't do a glaze or anything. So, and actually I used this tackle box. I, I did a red and black challenge. So that's a video coming up soon uh, where all my lures were like a red and black. It's like a killer challenge kind of deal. And so I did a challenge with that reel and my other reel. But with that reel, nothing happened to the paint on that reel. And I did not put a glaze protective layer on that. And then I also did, I used that tackle box. And, you know, I was throwing that tackle box in my bag. And it was rubbing up against other tackle boxes. And so I did get some... Uh, paint lifting on the edge and also where those hinges meet the back of that snapper uh, the paint there plus the paint on the box there rubs against each other so you might get some lifting of paint in those areas and then as far as like putting that tackle box uh, in your bag you might want to baby it a little like I should have probably put my that painted end against the material of my bag and then have the other tackle boxes up against uh, the bottom of that tackle box so it wouldn't scrape off any paint. But, uh, you know, it's not a big deal to me if a little bit of paint gets scraped off here and there. But uh, if it is for you, you might want to baby it. And yeah, so it turned out good. It works. I'm using it. And at some point, I might be giving away some of these things that I'm painting and stuff. It's just, I don't know exactly how I'm going to go about that. But I do know this, make sure you subscribe if you want a chance to get any future giveaways. And I might have to wait till the coronavirus stuff uh, dies down or we find a cure or whatever uh, before I start sending stuff to people um, just to be safe. And another thing is this is a great project along with that bait casting reel for when you're kind of cooped up in the house. You know, arts and crafts time for the coronavirus uh, isolation quarantine period you know so I think it's a good idea I, I like doing this sort of stuff I don't know how many of you like doing it but hey some of you gotta like doing it right so I'll do more videos like these I have a bunch of old reels I want to paint I have tons of tackle boxes that I can paint if it gets to the point where uh, we're not allowed to fish because they are shutting down some lakes and stuff in some areas and what have you. But if I can't even find a pond to fish out of, like we're, we're supposed to stay inside. If it gets to that point, then yeah, I'll be making a lot of these videos. So, uh, but stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all future videos. And I will post some links in the description below uh, in case you're interested in that baitcast and reel video. And also the challenge video where I use both of these uh, and it's a pretty good one so uh, you'll have to stay tuned to the end of that video or beginning it depends how I edit it that's what I'm doing next editing that video for you guys so hit the like button if you like this share it if you think you know some people interested in in this and uh, this is just something I'm gonna throw in there once in a while as far as like painting stuff and getting creative but uh, most of what I do is film fishing videos. So of course, if you like fishing, subscribe, smash that like button, all that good stuff. All right, guys, I'm not gonna talk your ear off. This is Real Journey, and the journey continues. We're out. Peace.